the kitchen witch has arrived. Hey y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. For today's video, we are going to make stuffed bell pepper jack-o'-lanterns. So since, since the holidays and Halloween specifically is all about candy and sweets, I figured we'd throw in at least one healthy Halloween themed dinner for you guys. So I'm here to do that with you guys today. This recipe is super cute because we're going to make these bell peppers look like little jack o -lanterns. And this recipe is really cute for kids, but you know what? Adults are just big kids, so I'm making it for meal prep this week for my partner and I. That's why I have this huge bowl of peppers here so that we have enough for all week. Sorry if the lighting is a little bit bad. I usually rely heavily on natural lighting. And I don't have a lot of that today. It's finally, we're finally getting rainy days and overcast days in Austin. And it's about damn time, because it's been months of just beaten down sunshine, which I love. I love the sun. I love to be out. I love to go on the lake. All of that. I also love to sit inside with a coffee on a rainy day and work. So I'm glad that it's rainy season finally because I'm able to get much more done. And for this recipe, the filling is really customizable so I'll have linked in the description the recipe PDF with a little bit more information about different swap-ins or different things I like to add or different flavor combinations I like to use in uh, when making stuffed bell peppers because it's, because it's a really easy recipe to kind of fiddle through your pantry and throw in whatever you have. So for today, what I'm going to be using is mushrooms, tomatoes, rainbow carrots, garlic, onions, bell peppers, green onions. We're gonna have rice stock, textured vegetable protein or TVP, a bag of shredded vegan cheese, whatever your favorite kind is. I have Parmelo Creamery, I love this one. It tastes like a nice sharp cheddar. I, I really like. And for seasonings, you're going to need paprika, cumin, parsley, oregano, thyme, chili powder, salt, and pepper. And then we might add some other things, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. A little bit of taco flavoring kind of in there, but then a little more herby. So that's what we're kind of going for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and wash these peppers, and then we'll get started. Okay, now I'm going to pour my vegetable stock over my dry TVP. My vegetable stock is still warm. And we're gonna set this aside so the TVP can absorb the stock and that's how it's gonna go from this like dry crumbly look to like a chewy, meaty kind of piece. So we're gonna rehydrate this. Next, I'm gonna get my rice going. You can cook your rice in a rice cooker or on the stove or However you're most comfortable. I'm just gonna do it on the stove, that's how I'm most comfortable. All right, next I'm gonna chop up all the veggies for the inside. One of the lights that went out in the adjacent room that usually helps light me, it went out last night and it just came back on. I'm 
reading carrots. You know what? I think that's enough on the carrots. I'm not going to try and fight any more out of this ice. I'm just going to leave it out to thaw and then maybe eat them with hummus later. It's early on a Monday morning, so I'm, that's why I'm still drinking my coffee. to cut up my green onions until just before I serve the bell peppers because we're just using it as a little sprinkle garnish on top. So I'm going to go ahead and put these aside. Alright, I'm going to go over to the stove and I'm going to water saute the onions and garlic and then I'll throw in the carrots, mushrooms, and tomatoes and cook that down a little bit. And then we'll add our TVP saute that up, and then hop back over here to mix the filling up. While those veggies are cooking, I'm going to prepare the bell peppers. So all we're going to do is cut the top off and clean the inside. Go ahead and get in here and mix. 
are grilling together. If you wanted to make this even more like tacos, even more like kind of stuffed taco bell peppers, you could sub some of the chili pea or some of the rice and add some beans. That would be really good in this recipe. You could even layer it in your bell pepper. You could layer like beans, rice, chili pea, however you want to do it. I'm going to mix everything together today. I'm also going to mix in most of this bag of cheese. I'm going to reserve some of the cheese to mix with breadcrumbs to sprinkle on top. So we've got my filling mixed together over here. In this other bowl, I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna mix the panko with the rest of the cheese. Add a little crispy coating on top. And I'm gonna add a little salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now I'm gonna get to stuffing these bad boys. So now that I have all of these guys stuffed and topped, I'm going to magically zap them cooked. And there you have it, stuffed bell pepper jack-o'-lanterns, super cute for Halloween and a really easy meal to put together. Now this kitchen, which is very busy and has many more potions to brew today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Since Halloween is very soon, leave me a comment down below what you're going to be this year, what your Halloween costume is. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you can see what I'm going to be. Those will be the places that you can find out. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me. Hit that bell if you never want to miss a delicious recipe. I'm Vegan Rainbow. Bye, y'all. I'm off to the next kitchen. Perfect. Perfect.